Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. We celebrate St. John Vianney. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, probably as we go through life, we have a lot of questions about life. We certainly do, and sometimes we look for answers. Sometimes we get them. Other times, we don't. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made priest St. John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will be, not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All, from least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create, create a clean, clean heart, heart in, in me, me, O God. God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create, create a, a clean, clean heart, heart in, in me, me, O God. God. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Create, Create a, a clean, clean heart, heart in me, O God. God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. Create, Create a, clean a clean heart, heart in, in me, me, O God. God. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. He then strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. So in, in today's gospel, in the beginning of the gospel, Peter's praised for knowing all this and being great. And at the end of the gospel, he's called Satan and get behind Jesus because he does not think as God does, but as man does. So I always like that gospel passage for that reason. And then, you know, I thought about it a little more and thinking about what to talk about this morning, I said, you know, it was that question when Jesus asked, who do people say that I am? You know, don't we always want to know what people think of us? We kind of ask that question of our, our friends, our family. What do people think about me? What do they say? How, you know, do they like me? I think we're, we have such a need of that. So I thought about that and, you know, reminded me of that old saying, what other people think of you is none of your business. What other people think of you is none of your business. 
Because if we go around worrying about everything that other people think about us, we're, we're maybe tailoring our personality to what others think of us. We become more fake. We lose that authentic self. You know, I think we should really be playing for that audience of God, not worrying about what others think. We should worry more about what God thinks. We should do the good things that we're set out to do on, on Earth. How? By prayer, by doing charity, by doing good works, by helping others. All those things that Jesus taught us. So even Jesus asked a question about what people think of him. Who do they think he is? So, you know, I think for us, it's, it's okay to ask, but I think we can't get carried away with that. We have to be our own person. We have to be our own self. We can't worry about making ourselves into something that other people are going to like. I think God created us to be who we are, our authentic selves. So reflect upon that this morning. Reflect upon your authentic self and doing God's work on earth. God bless. For our church, we now be a community of love and mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling, may they be transformed by Almighty God and by others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering from any sicknesses, may they be comforted and healed by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayer and to continue to bless our journey through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Fathers, we proclaim your wonders in St. John Vianney. We humbly implore that as his, hom his homage of love was pleasing to you, may our dutiful service find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, in every age you may raise up men and women outstanding in holiness, living examples of the Christian life. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy <coughs> Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Joseph Birdie and Joseph Kozlowski, whom we both called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son turn us away from the cares of this fallen world and follow the example of St. John Vianney. May we grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.